What's up guys? Today we got another Steam Deck video, but our main cast member today is not the Steam Deck, and it is actually this little thing. So right here, we have a external storage for an NVMe drive. This is made by Sabrinth, and this is a USB-C to USB-C, and it does 10 gigabits, meaning it's pretty, pretty full bore, full power you're going to get quite a bit out of every NVMe SSD that you put on here. Um, quick data transfers and all that fun stuff. I typically use this for um, just general storage. I usually have this NVMe drive in here and I do this for all my video storage and store a lot of all my uh, finish and raw footage in here. It was about 25 bucks on Amazon, worth every single penny. After having this for about a week, my brain started thinking next cast member on today's show is this nvme to pci x16 slot got this on amazon for about 30 bucks you guys know what we're doing for those who are fans of the channel kind of know what i'm planning to do so we're going to stick this bad boy in here close the lid and plug it into our steam deck and see if we can get a graphics card to work using this dongle. So we're obviously gonna need our Steam Deck and we're gonna need our power supply that has been branded with yours truly. And the co-star of today's show, which I forgot to peel some plastic off of, a AMD card, it is the XFX 6650 XT. Um, this is definitely overkill for a Steam Deck. Um, it's a gigabyte card, uh, and uh, it was super cheap. It was on sale on Best Buy, and I figured, why the hell not? This thing retails three six three seventy nine ninety nine or something like that. Got it for like three nineteen or something like that. So, you know, fair price uh, for this, so it's not too crazy. It doesn't break the bank or anything too crazy and it's more than enough what we need uh, for our steam deck and i printed this nice dock for our graphics card so it wouldn't have to lay in a table um one more requirement that you will need is you need to install windows into your nvme drive inside your steam deck you could partition it meaning you could have both ios and windows as a dual boot system me frankly i pulled out my steam os and the original 256 and i installed a new 256 that actually got really cheap on amazon for 15 bucks uh, made by samsung um, if i st if it's still available i'll post it in the link below it was a really good deal um and it was a used one uh, but you know, I don't really care. Um, we're only going to use this for testing anyways, and for potential storage in the future. Let's get to assembling. So first thing we're going to do is we need to plug this bad boy in, put it on our little mount, and we actually do need a screw, need a tiny screw. but whatever it's black, it matches. We're just going to screw this in. Oh my god, and I just dropped it inside the graphics card. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Okay, let's try that again. All right, so that's all done with that. And I just realized um, we kind of made a mistake. We're going to need to use a monitor. I forgot about that one. But before we put the monitor together, let's go ahead and let's attach our power supply. This one's going to go into the graphics card. Go ahead and grab our other display, and this is gonna go straight into here. All right, so we're here in our Steam Deck. We got, I think we got everything plugged in correctly. We're rocking a no compromise mod. I actually, I'm gonna do another video on that JSOX backplate. I freaking hate it. I don't actually, as much as I like the buttons. And there's some problems with it after long-term use. It's just not a, it's fit feels super hot. Um, the buttons actually make my hand cramp, but yeah, that's beside the point. Let's get back to this video. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna turn the power supply on. 
Okay, everything's plugged in, bada bing, bada boom, USB's plugged in, this thing's in there. We're gonna go ahead and hit the power button. And what we're gonna be looking for is for this fan to turn on if everything works correctly. Power is on, and remember we got windows installed in there. Boom, fan turned on. Okay, okay, we should get, where are we gonna get the display? So fans are on on the graphics card, so that's powered on. Question is, are we gonna get display on the monitor? Oh, we're on the Steam Deck. Steam Deck got display, okay, that's weird. Okay, so uh, we gotta go to device manager, display and adapters. No, it's not there. It is not there. Uh, where is my graphics card? Oddly enough, it's not showing up anywhere. Okay, so think. So it turned on, but we're getting no display out of it. Let me see if we're getting display out of here. Is this thing on? Think about it. So data's going through here to here, and this is going to there. Yeah, it's not even, I was hoping that would work, and it didn't. I did test this once before um, with the dongle, and it the graphics card did not post with the dongle. That's why I need to not use the dongle. It's on now, but this thing is clearly doesn't notice it, doesn't even realize it exists. And I'm not too sure how I'm gonna fix that. And so this thing has zero signal. So that means there's no information going from here to this monitor. So this is not really talking to it. Fast forward to the future. Hello. Um, we actually got it to run with a dongle. Great, because we need to actually charge the Steam Deck right now. Um, but we're doing driver installs. We're gonna see if that works. So we just hit a restart. Um, hopefully everything turns back on. We added a fan because our guts are showing and we wanna keep it cool. Uh, hopefully everything works. Um, just want to see if device manager sees it. Uh, cause if that's the case, then we can get it to work. But right now, device manager does not see the graphics card over the USB. I know it's going to work over the M.2. I mean, there's plenty of videos of it working over the M.2, but none over the USB-C. And also this is a 10 gigabit dongle. So I guess we're using some bandwidth for the, for the monitor and, uh, and the mouse and keyboard, but it should be able to handle at least some of the GPU load. We'll see. So this experiment was pretty much a failure in the fact that you cannot take a NVMe dongle, plug it into a, a 16X slot adapter and run a graphics card through that to your Steam Deck, regardless if you have Windows running on it. I'm sure there's a way we could figure it out. But I really just wanted to do this test to see if it was that easy. And it's clear that easy. It's actually quite difficult to do it. Um, but other than that, guys, I think this was a um, fun test. Clearly doesn't work. And it was definitely worth just testing this. Um, it sucks that it didn't work. But I know we can get it to work when we plug in this adapter straight into the NVMe slot. I was just really hoping that we could do it with a USB-C, that would be free. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and play with this a little bit more. Um, but that's gonna be it for this video because then you'll be here sitting, watching me mess around for about the next two weeks trying to figure out how this thing works. But other than that guys, um, unfortunately this video was a bit of a failure, but it was a very fun experiment for myself. And if you have any questions or maybe you know how to make this work, or if you've done it in the past, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you liked it, hit that like. If you loved it, hit that subscribe. Uh, once again, if you really want to help out the channel and help me pay for all this crap I keep buying for this channel and do these weird videos, go ahead and visit us at DIYPoppy.net. Pick up a shirt. Remember, every shirt is made by your boy. Truly, with these hands, these swollen hands, my knuckles have taken a beating this work week. Um, and... Yeah, I need to rest these bad boys. So other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.